guys, welcome to day six of DMM Institute Ban Up, guys. Today we have got an upgraded to the sigil of the swashbuckler, guys. If you guys don't know what it does, it basically makes my D semi and my DDS a three tick instead of a four tick weapon. So it's gonna be awesome for training and anti peaking, guys. I'm super excited. We're in the 110 through 111, 126 bracket, guys. Uh, this is the home stretch, guys. Hopefully, we don't get PK to ton at revs. Uh, I don't think that many up here have the freaking agility level. And if they do, they're pretty low level. Just that uh, I did, you know, screw that other bracket. They were hunting me down. So, hey, let's uh, liquidate the bank. Let's get a small amount in the bank. And um, let's just rebuild, guys. All right, guys. Made it here with my new sigil. And... Currently, if you want to know XP range at 87 strength, we are getting 900k XP per hour right here. Not using Pietti or anything. I don't want to do flicking right now. <clears throat> so not bad, not bad. This is night hours, but we are just not getting attacked here. 800k XP per hour squad. Not bad, not bad. <coughs> Guys, like... We're gonna buy some cheap uh, return sets to PK with once we're a decent level. And uh, we only have three Venge trinkets in the freaking box right now, so that's not the best. So we're gonna just build it up. Yo, what's up, Lunar? Date. We finally got attacked once, guys. Ten hours, and we're freaking like hundred and like seventeen combat, bro. So we're gonna be chilling, guys. But yeah. Nobody that attacked me had the shortcut, but somebody attacked me in Giga Max and yeah, freaking everything, but we did get away Barely got away and now we have a fury in the depot box. So Hey, we're just trying to get some freaking uh We're just really trying to accumulate a huge amount in the depot box here guys because yeah I don't know how else to get cash here guys. Let me know how, how else like I have not gotten a single sigil job Seven's attack finally found the first guy that's actually PVMing here on immunity, so not bad, not bad. Let's go guys, we're making the games. I mean I don't know what to do after like twenty hours or so and like I'm fully maxed out here. Let's see how often I get attacked after I wake up though. Okay, first ever sigil drop sigil or revoke limitation guys. Uh, we're gonna have to see how much this one's worth. It might be. Yeah, why, why do some sigils go in my looting bag, but this one doesn't? Okay, just a quick update. The sigil is not worth anything at all, brothers. So, literally like 1k, but hey. Maybe we can get a different sigil that's better in the future, guys. Okay, guys, 89 strength has been achieved. 113 combat. Not bad, not bad. 400k to level up. That means it's over in uh, just under an hour. Or just a little bit. Okay, spam just about to hit. 79 attack. Then we go back to strength, guys, and finish up. 90 strength, guys. Oh, let's go, let's go. There's some update coming, by the way. Um. For the system update, they are uh, buffing Morgan's axes. axes I think we talked or um, tablets. I think we talked about that, right? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Just woke up, brand new day, and here are the stats, guys: 89 strength, 79 attack, getting 800k XP per hour. And yeah, these words are freaking empty. No one PKs here, bro. Like so much. It's like a hundred times better than the last world, guys. So. Next time we're gonna just uh, rush out 89 and then rush out the max bracket again because this is just so much, so much more relaxing. Like, I don't have to use prayers and nothing, guys, you know? So. And I have like less than 20 hours before I max out here, guys. But here's the thing, dude. Like, after I max out, I have no idea what I'm going to do here, guys. Like, I, I might just start like merchanting in the grand exchange because and then we could just use that money to go PK because I don't know how to make money in this game dude I don't know how to do slayer none of that bro so like we'll do like you know there's gonna be people in Giga Max it's harder for me to get a PK like that 
uh, to PK somebody for that much. I mean, we can try to vengeance and to PK. That, I think that might be our biggest um, way to get maps here, guys. Okay, guys, but yeah, just the way thinking the things here, like... Oh, snap, the boss spawned. I do not want to get killed by the boss. I do not want to get killed by the boss. I'm just saying, like, everybody, like, there's so many people in mass running around. And this could be bad, bro. You know? I think we, we had the shortcut, guys. Like, like I don't want to do Slayer, bro. Someone's going to snipe me doing Slayer. I'd, I'd say this is the safest for me. You can easily get Gap. I know it's super far away from Bank. But so is Slayer and stuff. So, yeah, guys. Like, what do you guys think about uh, just doing revs? For maxing out, let me know in the comments. Appreciate the views on the latest videos. Recently, guys, we're gonna try to max out. We can max out this day as long as we don't get beaten on. And there you have it, guys. 114 combat, 90 strength. <clears throat> we're gonna like go for another strength level, then half an attack level. We're training attack, uh, strength more than attack first, cause you know those max hits are important. More than anything, just like how staking was back in the day, so... Me being 9 strength levels off the max. Believe it or not, most of my most of the people in my bracket have more strength levels than me, but I have probably have more defense levels than people. Uh, er, most er, mostly everybody in my bracket, unless they're max. There's a lot of... There's a good amount of max people running around, but... Alright guys, we have a surprise breach! Southwest of the combat training camp, so I think it's over here, guys. Thankfully, they unlocked, uh, already teleport at this, uh, higher bracket here. It wasn't unlocked before. <laughs> Cheers. Second thought, on second thought, yo, like, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, there's just people in Ancestral and everything, bro. It, it's really not worth it. I don't, I don't think so. What do you what do you think guys? What do you think guys? Like there's not even that many people in this world guys <sighs> See see there's just ancestrals and Okay, but like okay, wait, 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 let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're just fighting that 121, but Dude, I'm trying to loot this, what this guy got this guy's annoying Snap, I don't want to accidentally scroll up. I changed my attack options bro. Look at all this loot guys like spider egg <sighs> There's just so many in max like see this guy they're just that guy that 121 just got on me immediately I do have a decent key here guys. So I mean look 11 rev bracelets Both of us I am 99 defense, but like those both of us are too strong man. Oh my gosh it may have had clump in I, I, I don't know guys I'm, so, I'm mad nervous. I'm risking way too much. I don't like dying on this game so yeah, see what I mean, guys? Like, I am risking, like, oh my gosh. Ancestral. It's cool seeing their setups and everything, but I don't think it's worth this squad. I know it's the only way to get, like, Vesta's Longsword, which is 40 mil, but, like, how am I going to tank that? <clears throat> I have a decent plan here, guys. Let's get decent stats, you know. And let's anti PK guys, but here's the thing, you know, I think I need the trinket of vengeance to get one of those guys And it is 800k So we, we got to learn how to anti PK with it. You literally just left click it and it casts vengeance for you so This could be huge for us. Like what do we combine it with maybe corrupt AGS? I really want to combine it with the corrupt avoid waker, but it's four mil so Hey, what's up guys so I figured hey let's try out the Torag hammers because I think they're th th if you stack them with the swashbuckler and the formidable fighter you get freaking oh my gosh we're getting 1.1 mil XP per hour now guys this is correct this is correct oh shit wait it's it keeps going up it keeps going up now I do have to repair these every six hours though but guys now that I have these this is just too much this combo's cracked, guys. We can PK with it. The hammers are like 400k, though. Okay, guys, so word on the town. 
The best way to make money in this game is actually just like chopping trees, guys. So after I max out, I think we're just gonna chop trees or something. I mean, but after that, we can actually just invest into merchanting and get a cool setup. I mean, I don't know, guys. Like, what else is there to do? Should we go for Slayer or something? We still have a lot of uh, combat experience to go. I don't know, guys. But yeah. You just get insane sigil drops, chopping trees, doing fishing, stuff like that, guys. Just hit 91 strength in dead man mode. Let's go, very cracked, very cracked. Still, uh, just a little under 1 mil XP per hour, but not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Our Torex hammers are still 100% charged as well. So, okay. faster XP. Only eight more levels to go, and we're fully maxed out with strength, and then literally only have attack left. So, yeah. Then we're done with the comment. About 30 minutes since our last clip, guys. And we are getting some awesome levels. Almost 115 combat. Yeah, like 1 mil XP per hour. Oh! What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. No way. We just got a crossbow. Let's get out of here. ASAP. No way. While recording a clip, we got a crossbow squad. No way. No way did we just get a crossbow. Oh, that's like 20 mil cash. No way. So yeah, we just threw it in the depot box, guys. One of the best items in the game. One of the best drops I ever got in the game. Right there. I tried to sell it for 27 mil. But we'll just, uh, you know, even if it goes down just a little bit, not. Nah. We're gonna uh, just throw it in overnight. If we, like, I don't even know what I'm gonna buy. We gotta, like, research what we're gonna buy. But that right there is at least 20 mil drop. Like, nobody even does revs. Everybody PKs at revs, but not too many actually do revs, so. I think we could sell it for a good price. I know there's buy offers for it, so. Okay, just bought another Venge Trinket, put it in. Don't really wanna bring a Venge Trinket just yet. Screw that. We're only like 91 strength. Let's uh... Let's put more in the depot box. I'm not really trying to risk much here guys. Like the hammers are enough here. Bros. You know 91 strength sucks man. Just look at that depot box. We got a crossbow. Two furies. Three venge trinkets. OMG. OMG. And we're not done yet. We're gonna get more. We could even get more. Another crossbow. More wilderness weapons. Who knows. Crossbow can be cracked for lower brackets, for training, <coughs> anywhere in the game actually because of the boosted effects, so we'll try to sell it overnight. <coughs> oh, drop! That 117 was still there when I came back, but I just thought he didn't attack again. <laughs> Guys, I just want these gains. I don't even want to use the scythe. The scythe, the scythe is like 13 mil. If we can circumvent buying the scythe, because we're gonna lose a lot of money doing it, or we can spend like <clears throat> maybe our last five attack levels using the scythe. I gotta see. I gotta see. Well, my stream plus OBS crashed. I mean, stream plus a uh, cap cut crashed. Actually, the cap cut upgraded. Updated, but we still have the project, thankfully. Just got a double dragon long sword drop, and yeah, we're almost 92 strength, so I'll let you know when we're there. Attacked, easy tank, easy escape, with the agility shortcut. We just sold everything, bought another fury, put another three dragon plate skirts in the bank. Look at this, three furies, crossbow, dragon plate skirt. Pretty goaded, pretty goaded. I think we're going to try to get like one or two more furies. This time out now because like dragon plate skirts aren't the most we had a bunch of venge trinkets here guys you know all right guys 81 attack no way no way now we switch to strength let's get 93 strength next strength is more important for the ntc game here so oh, looks like we get an 800k sigil drop right there omg we rarely get sigil drops from the revenant cave but this is cracked i just looked at the price man not bad, not bad. And then we get a dragon plate skirt drop. Look at the looting bag, guys. Three dragon plate skirts. I only got eight dragon plate skirt drops from these guys. Also, okay. I'm scared of them. Not scared of them. 
I only got like three dragon place skirts got uh, drops from these guys, man. So, not bad, not bad. Let's go bank real quick. Two mil in like 20 minutes. It's like 20 minutes per trip, guys. We just hit 82 bat attack. Now we switch back to strength, guys. We're coming in at 115.8 one combat level. Just a little bit more scarier now on the high scores. 93 mil in the loot tab. I don't know how much per hour I get. Attacked again. We just hot world. We came back there. Somebody with immunity there. So. 250k to low level. We did end up getting 50k XP though. Pretty easy escape. <clears throat> Alright, so the PKers seem to rush out of the gear before the prayers. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright, I like playing it safe, you know. Low risk, low bank key. Yeah, just hit 93 strength. That is huge. Ooh, restore drop. We hot the world, 160k trip, easy escape, you know me, you know me, we've been doing it all day. Notice that this bracket, Lunar Diplomacy, because Diplomacy is already unlocked, guys. And that means, someone could th theoretically be on Vengeance and not use a Vengeance streak it. They're super cracked, guys, for anti-PK here, but unskulled. Well, we gotta try that out, coming up soon here, guys. But yep, still need those strength levels. I'll update you pretty soon. Well, there you have it. A few minutes. Just a minute later, we get 94 strength. Weighing in at 116.45 combat, guys. We are pretty strong right now, I would say. So, myself. 1.1 mil XP per hour on the tracker. Attack here, guys. Got a double dragon play skirt drop that we did put in the deposit box, so check it out. Still a bunch of stuff we gotta put in here as well. Here we have it. 83 attack. Let's move it on over to strength. Get 95. 95 strength next. That'll take about an hour or so. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully we don't get attacked a bunch. But now we are 116.775 combat. Okay guys, another trip done safely. 700k in looting bag. This is what we're, we are risking if we were to die, which is not that too much. I don't want to alk after every single trip. It's kind of kind of wasteful if I do that. So I know I said, what's that? Oh, it doesn't even have a shortcut. <laughs> shortcut is not overpowered in this game. I repeat, the shortcut is not overpowered in this game. Even a lot today. Like I slept like three hours more than I wanted to. I mean, I can't be like some robot that's on 24-7 as much as I'd like to be. I'd probably be uh, winning this season if I were, you know, I don't know. seems to be the most profitable thing, but it's only if you're extremely good at it, you know, it's very riskful. Risk. That's a risk involved. OMG, check it out. We actually got a sigil that's worth like over a mil. I just looked it up. Sigil and Advanced Harvest. Appreciate you guys buying this for over a mil now. Again, at this bracket, we get the most XP and the most sigil drops. So, we take that, we take that. We take that indeed. <laughs> Come on, let me get a proc. There we go.
Fight, brother. Uh, I don't want to, you know. Only two sets of brew left. About officially ten more hours of training until I'm like 120, 121 combat. Not bad, not bad, guys. Let's go. And by the way, I go to the next rev after I finish the drop, and then I come back when it spawns again. That's it's a little bit of a time save. Gets me some more XP. That's another trip done. Check out how much in the looting bag. 1.1 mil. OMG. OMG. Guys, these trips are like 20 minutes. So this is like, what, 3 mil an hour or something. This is not bad. This is not bad. Again, I have no knowledge about Slayer or, or limited knowledge about it, rather. Only got my Slayer to level like 69, so... Hey, if you know how to escape, you know, freaking, uh... Enchanted jewelry teleports or whatever, so you can uh, teleport away. You know, freeze log. But uh, you know, <laughs> wow, not many people actually got the agility level this season, bro. Like, there's so many in the other bracket. But uh, you know, if somebody pulls up in proper max with the agility level, I will probably be screwed. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Uh, Alright, let's elk everything. We have so many bracelets, and yeah, I don't want to risk all this stuff. So, single elk here. Every single al alchemy is another alchemy that is not in someone else's bank, you know? Don't want to really risk... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to risk a fraction of what we are... What we have in the deposit box when we go PKing, guys. So, hey. But look at all this, man. Look at all this, man. Okay, after selling everything, alking everything, 3.6 mil cash, that's like a PK set. But, you know, except without the freaking Void Waker, because the Void Waker's 4 mil. But the Trinket of Vengeance, you could PK with the Trinket of Vengeance in a budget setup, which we are going to try later. But first, let's max out strength, guys. Fury's not buying for 3.5 mil, though, so let's chuck it in for like 3.2 or something. I don't know why it's not buying.
Okay, squad went ahead and put them in some Venge trinkets as Fury's last sold price was like 3.9, 3.8 mil, so. Alright guys, there we go, 95 strength, 117 combat, OMG, OMG, the plan coming together. <coughs> 900k till next level. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's switch over to attack though. Let's get 84 attack next. Guys, we have officially <coughs> come into 100 mil in the looting bag. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna take a picture. We're gonna use that as a thumbnail <coughs> for the next uh, video here, guys. So, cheers, squad, cheers. Let's go. Okay, squad, we barely escaped everybody, but now we have just sold everything, or we're in the process of selling everything, and we have bought a Fury for 3.4 mil. Let's go. Only three Furies to go, and we have a full freaking looting box here, guys. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, there's a Sigil Revote limitation. However, it's only going for 9,000 coins. So we'll actually just leave it there, even though it outs for 20k. It's whatever, it's whatever. Somebody in Max just pulled up, guys. We got another mill in the bag. That was only 15 minutes. We gained 250k XP, just as a reference, guys. So, hey, take that out what you will. There you have it, guys. 96 strength. The home stretch now. Let's get 85 attack now. 101.75. Oh, double room plate legs. Trip. And that's uh, another. Uh, we're gonna end this video, guys, and start uh, day seven or yeah, I think day seven next. So it's around the 12 uh, p.m. mark. So let's see how much is in the looting bag. 1.1 dice and another dragon play skirt. Love to see it. Let's see. 869k. We didn't get attacked. I breezed through that, guys. 